Looking for everyday dependable service? Well, now you can just call for it. That's right, everyday dependable service can help you with lawn care, leaf blowing, mulching, hedging, hauling or debris removal, demolition, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, and much, much more. Call our offices at 399-9111. That's 399-9111. Everyday dependable service at 399-9111. Quality jewelry at its best. Sales. Tired of the sales pressure from those high-priced jewelry stores? 2K Jewelers. No pressure, no hype. Just service, just right. Our casual settings offer on-site jewelry repair, along with handcrafted jewelry. We repair and service all watches. Replace your battery while you wait. Our prices can't be beat. We pay fair prices for your gold and silver, so bring it in. Hi, I'm 2K. Come by and see us sometime. I would love to get to meet you. 2K Jewelers, 73 Whitebridge Road, next to J. Alexander's. So many of you may ask, where did Oscars come from? I'm going to tell you a little history about it. The first Academy Award was given out on May 16, 1929, when speech was incorporated into movies. The very first ceremony took place during the Academy Banquet at the Blossom Room of the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. The attendance was of 270 guests who only paid $5 each. Back then, the precious statues were handled by the Academy President Douglas Fairbanks. Since then, the Academy Award has moved its ceremony to various locations such as the Ambassador and the Billmore Hotels, the Grumman's Chinese Theater, the Shrine Civic Auditorium, and others. In March 1949, it took place at the Academy's own Melrose Avenue Theater. Then, for the next 11 years, it was held at the RKO Pentages Theater in Hollywood and it was there that for the first time on March 19 of 1953 that the Academy Awards was first televised. Since 2002, the Academy Awards have been held at the Kodak Theater at Hollywood and Highline Center, now with 24 different categories, hosted every year by different hosts. This year was hosted by Anne Hathaway and James Franco. The award show has several presenters and performers, thousands of attendees, which includes actors and filmmakers. There are several events that the general public can attend. Attendance to the Academy Awards ceremony is still today by invitation only and is broadcasted live to more than 200 countries around the world. Today we went to the 2010 Foreign Language Film Awards Symposium where we got the chance to experience an inside look from the director perspective of what does it take to film a movie, to create, to get the money, to get all the things in place to create these marvelous movies. How did this film, this film made in Barcelona by a, a Mexican director whose first feature film that we, uh, Amores Peros, that we, we saw here, and then did a number of films, uh, American films, not necessarily in the States, but internationally. How did you happen to come up with the story that takes place in Barcelona? And, and what's the involvement of all three of you, of, of you writers? Well, I think what's, um, what's a process where I, nothing was planned ahead, it, it just the things start to happen in different steps. I think the first step for me was uh, I got, you know, this idea um, uh, about uh, the last 75 days of a human being, you know, what, what that will be about. And this character appeared in my mind in that sense. I didn't know exactly where, it, where he, he was living, and little by little this character began to develop. And when I began to understand what was the story about and what I would like to talk about and what he was asking me to, 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 to reveal about him, and in, in a moment I, I, I felt that I would love to work with Javier. And when I realized that it was something that uh, 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 I want Javier to play, it was a very exciting for me, the idea that if Javier will accept this, uh, taking the risk that he can reject that, but I said if he can accept this, then naturally I will be shooting in Spain, and because we share the language, it will be for me a, a great opportunity to return to my original uh, language, and, and once again after 10 years to make a Spanish speaking film. And that was a very exciting idea for me. And, um, and uh, that's, let's say, how I end up, since the beginning in a way, attached to shooting in Spain. Um, 
then once I got that thing, I had the idea, the actor, and then and then in effect the location. No, I yeah, I have I have the idea, I have the actor in my mind. I said to Javier, I'm writing something for you. He didn't know nothing. And he said, Great, I will wait for you. So he has to wait one year. One year. Anyway, so, uh, and then I start writing it. And I always, in this uh, st uh, stage, I think writing and, and conceiving and dreaming about the film is one of the most enjoyable things because you are not, I would say, uh, limited by or affected by all the physical and concrete problems that you face in production and pre-production, you know, money and things that you cannot achieve in that stage for me is great. No. Tú y yo sabemos lo que sufren los muertos que se van con deudas. Yo no me voy a morir, veo. No. For at sige det som det er, så er det jo heller ikke nogen nem situation for Elias, det her, vel? Jeg med dig, Anton, som rejser så meget. Og hvis der så også er, er en masse problemer mellem jer, så... Hvad er det for nogle problemer, du snakker om? Hvad så, Elias? Hvis jeg ikke slår igen, så vil alle de andre bare tro, at jeg også kunne slå mig. Hvis du slår ham, så slår han dig. Så slår du ham, så slår du... Du holder dig aldrig op. Ikke hvis man slår hårdt nok første gang. Jeg sokner dig. Jeg har sagt for nu. Hvad mere, når det er her eller mit? Fuck, mand! Hvor er det sygt! Jeg har ikke lovet over for dig. Jeg har ikke... Du sagde til mig, at nok skulle blive rask. Du sagde, at hun ikke er ondt. Tror du ikke, at jeg ikke er ked af det, du er, hva? Nej, det tror jeg faktisk ikke, du er. Ja, kan du høre, hvad jeg siger? Jeg har noget virkelig, virkelig vigtigt at fortælle dig. 